Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise His name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. So I'm so glad He died for me. And now, thanks to Him, I've been set free. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise His name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now let us hear the Word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. Lenny Hall Income Tax and Accounting. Call 377-2633. And by Nelson Fraser Funeral Homes. With offices in Martin and Hyman. Call 285-5155. Make my wish come true. I don't need a four leaf clover or a crystal ball to see through. I don't need a claim to fame like some folks always do. I've got the light of Jesus inside, and it shines the whole day through. He's my Savior, a sight to see. Oh, and when He touches me, way down deep in my soul, I've got Jesus in my heart and I won't let go. If I stumble or if I fall, He's waiting right there to catch me. Oh, He's my Savior, the one who died. I don't need any good luck charm, always hanging around. I don't need a wishing well to throw my money down. Don't need to make the front page news or be the talk of the town. I'm telling the world about my Jesus. He turned my world around. my Savior, a sight to see. Oh, and when He touches me, way down deep in my soul, I've got Jesus in my heart and I won't let go. If I stumble or if I fall, He's waiting right there to catch me. Oh, He's my Savior, the one who died for me. my Savior, a sight to see. Oh, and when He touches me, way down deep in my soul, i got Jesus in my heart and I won't let go. If I stumble or if I fall, He's waiting right there to catch me. Oh, He's my Savior, the one who died for me. I'd like to welcome you back to Standing for Jesus Ministries today. We thank God for another day of life. Thank God for another opportunity to maybe come into your homes, uplift you. We don't know, you know, you may be to where you can't get out and go to church or whatever it might be, but listen, we want God's will to be done. Amen. Thank you. For, thank God for the songs. Thank God for the power of prayer. We've... We've seen prayer answered so many times through this program and things that, and people just keep asking for prayers. I want to remind you of the prayer list. This is the number on the screen there if you'd like to be added to the prayer list. We do believe in the power of prayer, and we ask, and we don't just pray, don't nonchalant, we believe what we're praying. 
because we know that God is more than able to help us in every need. It don't matter what it might be. So we truly believe in the power of prayer and pray that you'll send in your prayer requests because we want to pray and agree with you on them things. Amen. We begin to think about the program on what to preach on. And you know, we got to thinking about how things that the prophets went through and how that sometimes, sometimes what we take for granted that God does for us every day. And I began to think about the prophet Elijah, how that he was, listen, there was a man, a great man, known man of the captain of the Syrian armies, and listen, his name was Naaman, Brother Mikey, he was a leper. He had a disease of leprosy, and and I began to think about that, how that he sent word to Elijah. But Elijah wouldn't even come out to him. Amen. And he sent word and he told him, said, listen, if he wants to be clean, let him go down to the Jordan River and dip seven times. But you see, old Naaman didn't want to do this. He said, you know, that well, that's dirty water there and there's a lot more fitting places to go. But there was one little maid that told Naaman, said, said, listen, would it be any different if God would have told you to do some great thing? So he went down to the river, and he did as the Lord told him. But as we started reading that story, we started thinking how that, you know, salvation is made so easy that people just think, they think it takes some great thing. Listen, you got to be some big buddy in society or something to the to get something from God. But that's not the way it works, my friend. I begin to think, you know, as that little maid told him, if God would have told you to do some great thing, what would you not have done it? But he, he would get down. And he, the Bible said, Brother Mikey, that he went down and he dipped. And no doubt when he dipped the first time, nothing happened. No doubt when he dipped the second time, he probably looked the same. Listen, no doubt, the third and fourth, all the way up. But that last time that he dipped down, ha, uh, being obedient to the Lord. Ha, uh, listen, the Bible says that he come up out of the water like his skin, ha, uh, like a newborn baby's skin. Ha, uh, listen, and we begin to wonder. Ha, uh, listen, that ha, uh, when we got saved, we know. Ha, uh, listen, how we felt like the whole weight of the world was off of us. Ha, uh, listen, we were alone, ha, uh, like newborn babes. Ha, uh, listen, Brother Mike, we were like newborn babes. Ha, uh, listen, we had nothing. Ha, uh, to count against us. Ha, uh, listen, we was clean. Ha, uh, uh, within. Ha, uh, uh, listen, and that's what. Ha, uh, uh, listen, God began to do. Ha, uh, uh, listen, but now we're going to take this story. Ha, uh, uh, just a little farther. Ha, uh, uh, listen, the Bible says that there was one uh, uh, that was with him there. Uh, oh, Naaman, uh, uh, the captain, uh, uh, he come to him and offered him uh, a payment for what uh, uh, he had done. He said, no, uh, I'm not going to have any. Uh, uh, listen, but there was one uh, uh, that went behind Elijah's back, if you want to put it that way. Uh, uh, listen, he went after the payment. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and the Bible says that Elijah uh, uh, told him that, uh, uh, listen, some the the leprosy ha, that had left Naaman ha, will come upon you. Ha, listen, you realize ha, people don't realize today Brother Mikey that sin breeds sin. Amen. Ha, listen, the Bible says you're going to sow ha, ha, to the flesh. You're going to reap ha, of the flesh. Ha, you're going to reap corruption. Ha, but if you're sold to the Spirit, ha, listen, ha, we're going to reap life everlasting. Ha, how good is it, my friend, to know that one day after a while, ha, listen, no matter how hard our troubles get, no matter how hard, listen, things get in our life, listen, that one day after a while, listen, God is going to say it's enough, listen to God, he's going to tell his son, his precious son that died for us, he's going to tell him, he's going to say, go and get my children, listen, Lord, the time has come, they went through enough, listen, it's time to bring them home, listen, and I believe, 
uh, with everything that's within me, uh, according to what we read in God's word, Brother Mikey, uh, that we might be living in the very days, uh, unless we're living down uh, uh, close to the hour, uh, listen, that we might hear a trumpet sound, uh, listen, the Lord uh, is going to come forth, uh, listen, he's going to gather his children, uh, and he's going to take us home to ever be uh, with him one day, uh, listen, but also, uh, I begin to think about uh, what he says about the wickedness in the world. Now, the Bible says the wicked will do, uh, wickedly will do worse. In other words, they'll get more wicked and wicked. Uh, listen, we can see that today. Uh, listen, nobody wants anything to do uh, with what's right. Uh, listen, all they want to do. Uh, listen, is the, uh, listen, feel bicker and fight. Uh, listen, even our churches today. Uh, listen, want to bicker and fight with each other. Uh, one wants to prove the other and wrong. Uh, listen, but I'm going to tell you something. Uh, if we'll stand on the word of God we're always going to be listen standing on what's right we got to realize that Jesus said he's the way the truth and the life listen I want people to know listen I belong where I belong to by my choice listen but first I am a child of the living God I am a child of the king listen one day listen I had to realize that that I was lost and undone. I was just a young boy. Uh, but God began to pick on this old heart of mine. Uh, listen, and I realized, uh, uh, Brother Mikey, that something uh, that God was real. Uh, what these preachers was telling me, uh, I felt in my heart uh, uh, that God was dealing with me. Uh, and I came forth and gave my heart to the Lord. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you want to know one of the first things that happened? Uh, uh, people was telling you, you're too young. You don't understand what it's all about. Uh, uh, listen. Listen, it got me a little discouraged. Listen, but you know something? Listen, I'm made to believe when God comes into your heart, you know it. You don't have to have no priest, preacher, listen, or anybody else try to tell you anything. Listen, because you know you've passed from death unto life. Because God puts a love down in your heart. Listen, that you can't help but love the brother. And that's what it's all about. Amen. Listen, when we begin to study that story today. Listen, we also thought, well, listen, how many times, listen, we really, listen, knelt down and prayed to the Lord. Listen, it ain't the length of prayer that you have. Listen, but it's how you talk to God. It's believing God. How many times a day do we, listen, give God time? Do we actually talk to him? Have we studied his word? Listen, so many times we expect so much from God. Listen, but we barely give him time a day. Listen. Listen, a church service, average church service, most places you go, it might last an hour and a half to two hours. Listen, how much time are we giving God? Listen, I want you to know. Listen, I believe according to how we live. Listen, people are going to judge you by it. Listen, don't get me wrong. You can do good and people are still going to judge you. Listen, but deep down inside, they can't deny that God's work ain't being done. Listen, because they could see it. Amen. Listen now. Listen, oh Naaman. Listen, oh Naaman. He gave that stuff to that other man. Listen to him. Listen, didn't take nothing of it. Listen, but Elijah knew that when he come back, what he had to say. Listen, he asked him where he been. He said, I've been nowhere. Listen, and his servant said, I've been nowhere. But Elijah knew. God knows where you're at. God knows your problems. God knows the need that you have right now before you even ask it. Listen, all you got to do is be willing, my friend, to give to God all your troubles and problems. People say, well, listen, you can't do that. That's exactly what God wants you to do. Listen, he wants to be first in your life. He wants to be there when the trials come against you. He wants to be there. Listen, but what are we talking about, preacher? God's everywhere. I'm talking about in your heart and on your mind. I'm talking about being ready to call upon him. Listen, having yourself conditioned that you 
you might be able to pray for others in a time of need. But listen, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, now Naaman was made new. Listen, his skin was made like a newborn baby's skin. Listen, you imagine what God does in the heart. Listen, Brother Mikey, imagine what God can do to the heart when he takes that old stony heart. Listen, and put a heart in there full of love, a full of compassion, a full, a listen, of love so much. A listen that it'll make you love your enemies. A listen, what are we looking for in this world? A listen, are we looking for Jesus to come? Are we showing God's love to those out there in the world? Or are we worried about trying to prove somebody wrong in the word? The Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. Listen, I want you to know, listen, Jesus said he was the way, the truth, and the life. And he said if any man try to come up any other way, he's the same as a thief and a robber. And listen, the robber, my friend, is not going to make it into the portals of heaven. Listen, we know that. Listen, so what are we going to do? Listen, I think it's time that the church buckles down. Listen, I think it's time. Listen, I'll put it this way. Listen, sometimes I believe people need to be blunt. You don't want to kneel down and pray with me? That's, that's, that's totally up to you. Listen, but I know God created every one of us. And if every one of us is going to go to heaven, we're going to go to heaven the same way. I had to be cleansed the same way you did. Listen, and I want you to know, listen, we can't. We got to do things together here. Listen, there's a lot of people that look out. And listen, I don't even know why I'm on this. Listen, but I do know that the Word of God will stand true. It will stand forever. It will stand when the world is burnt to a crisp. Uh, listen, it will stand uh, until uh, listen, uh, God sees he said, my word will last forever. Uh, but listen, you know what else will last forever? Uh, he said, my mercy uh, is everlasting. Uh, his grace and his mercy. Uh, uh, listen, uh, he can have mercy on us now uh, because one day uh, when we go uh, beyond the grave, uh, it's going to be too late to cry out for mercy then, my friend. Uh, uh, listen, it's going to be too late. Uh, uh, listen, when we get. Uh, uh, listen, uh, a lot of people talk about uh, a deathbed repentance. Uh, uh, listen, that sounds scary to me. Uh, uh, to go all your life. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and rejecting God uh, and expecting God uh, uh, listen to do something for you when you're dying. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I want you to know, uh, I mean, that's if God has dealt with you. Uh, uh, listen, but I know one thing for sure. Uh, every man, woman, or child reaching uh, uh, the age of accountability uh, will not leave this world. Uh, uh, without having, uh, uh, listen, a chance to repent. Uh, amen. Uh, because that's God's word. Uh, the Bible said uh, uh, that he is a true and a just God. Uh, and a true and a just God. Uh, I wouldn't be that way, would he? Uh, uh, listen, he says, I call all men to repentance. Uh, uh, listen, it's not his will that any should perish, uh, but that all should repent. Uh, uh, listen, but once we repent, uh, uh, listen, we become part of a church. Uh, we become part of the body of Christ. Uh, uh, listen, and the Bible says, uh, uh, Brother Mikey, that there's no chasm uh, in the body of Christ. Uh, in other words, uh, uh, there's nothing that should separate it. Uh, every joint ought to work just as good. Uh, uh, listen, uh, every Every joint ought to work good. The eyes ought to see good. Uh, the ears ought to be able to hear uh, the things, the right things. Uh, we ought to be able to see the right things uh, that God has got for us. Uh, listen, we can look with a spiritual eye. Uh, listen, uh, I want you to know when the body moves. Uh, listen, we got to realize that the head of that body uh, is Jesus. Uh, listen, uh, no one else, uh, no church organization. Uh, there's no name uh, uh, listen, over top of Jesus' head. Uh, Listen, because he is the church, the head. He is the living, listen, God. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he is the God of you and I, if you're born again. Listen, willing to accept what he has done for you. What did he do for me, preacher? Remember, he sent his son to die on that old rugged cross. Now, you and I might have life and have it more abundantly. Listen, I don't know what the worst of the world wants to do, 
but I know for me and my house, I'm like Joshua. <laughs> we want to serve the Lord. <laughs> Listen, I, I've got him here. <laughs> Listen, and I don't want to let him go. <laughs> Listen, if you've got the Lord in your life, <laughs> you hold on, child of God. <laughs> Listen, no matter what's going on in the world today, <laughs> we're going to have to stand up for what God says. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we can watch the news today. <laughs> Listen, and then for preachers being interviewed, <laughs> Listen, and he says the wrong thing against some other religion. Oh, his life was to not get aired. Listen, you want to know why? Because people don't want to know the truth. Amen? Amen, Brother Viking, the people don't want to know the truth. And only the truth will set you free. Amen? That's what he told Pilate. Pilate said, what is truth? That's what a lot of people are asking today. What is the truth? Jesus said he was the way, the truth, and the life. A lot of people today don't know what truth is. Now listen, well, I've tried this and I've tried that. I'll give Jesus a try, my friend. If you're lost and all done, I'll give him a try. Now listen, but I'm not talking about taking him in one day and laying him off the desk. But if you'll really mean it from your heart, listen and grasp on to the Lord and hold on. Now you mark my word, or not my word. Let's take God's word. Let's word it that way. You take God's word for what it says. He said, I'd never leave you. I'd never forsake you. I'd go all the way, even to the ends of the earth. Amen. I make no mistake about it, my friend. We're living in days. Listen, people could care less. Listen, whether you live or die. People could care less. Listen about the Lord. They'll make fun of the Lord. They'll openly make fun of the Lord on TVs, cartoons, all this stuff. Listen, but God is going to call people to justice one day after a while. Listen, how are we going to stand when that comes about is what it's all about. It's not about, listen, everybody's got their excuses in the church. I know we talked about problems in the church. Yeah, you want to know why? Because the devil's on a rampage. But I got news for the devil. If men and women of God will stand on the word. Listen, you know what the Bible says? Satan has to flee. He can't do nothing to you. Listen, God won't allow. Amen. But he gave you authority. Listen, Christian, he gave you authority. Listen, the Bible says we don't wrestle against flesh flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Listen, in high places. Listen, that's the things that we need to stand for. Listen, of God's word. Listen, the Bible said they'd be them that say, well, I've heard this all my life. That's all right. The scripture covers that too. The Bible says they would be them that would say, since I was young, I've heard them all preaching. I've heard them all. It's been said all my life. But one day after a while, my friend, it's going to happen, and it'll be just like it was. Listen in the days, listen of Noah. The scripture says they were eating and drinking. They were marrying and giving and marrying. In other words, they are just going on about their own business, not caring what was going on. But one man, listen, began to build an ark the way that God gave him instructions, just like Naaman. Listen, if he hadn't have dipped seven times, it wouldn't have worked. Amen. Listen, he gave no instructions, and he told him how high to build it, how wide to build it. Listen, how long? Told him what kind of wood. Told him to pitch it within and without. You know what that means? That means that boat was sealed inside for no cracks and outside for no cracks. You realize when God saves you and puts you on the right path, he cleans you inside and out. What are you talking about, preacher? I believe you'll walk different. I believe you'll talk different. I believe your language will change. Listen, I believe you will be a different person. Listen, I'm talking about, listen, the true and the living God. When he gets a hold of you, listen, you'll know it because you can't help but tell somebody. You know what happened? I went to church and I gave my heart to the Lord. Listen, and I'm going to be baptized. Uh, listen, that was where I was. Uh, I couldn't tell everybody. Uh, I couldn't wait to tell everybody that I was ready to be baptized. Uh, uh, listen, uh, because I know something had happened to me. Uh, and listen, and I took you in. And Brother Mikey, when I took him in, I know beyond a shadow that I was young. 
ain't do anything better. I ain't been perfect all my life. But I've been forgiven. This song right here that you're listening to in this altar call is like a testimony to me. You can do all the things. You can do all the rituals in church and still miss knowing the Lord. You can still miss knowing the Lord. God said he would never leave you. Never forsake you. He go all the way. And I'm asking you wherever you might be. You might be sitting there in the living room in a big lounge chair laying back and relaxing. You might be in bed. You may not even be able to get out of bed. God still loves you. You might be getting ready to take you. A dose of something that might really may be the last one you ever take. Something that will hurt you. But I'm telling you about Jesus. The best thing that would ever help you, my friend. Things hurt in this world. There's pain. And there's trouble. But listen, but I'm telling you about the man that hung between the heavens and the earth. And I can see you through that trouble. Uh, this man, uh, uh, listen, knows when you're hurting. Uh, uh, listen, and he's wanting to uh, uh, save you. Uh, he's wanting to give you a new life and a new start. Uh, uh, listen, if you're lost and all done, uh, uh, listen, you might just not even feel that you where you should be with God. You might be a Christian uh, and feel that you've grown cold. Uh, uh, listen, there's room. Uh, uh, listen, there's always room at the altar in God's house. But for a preacher, what you mean? I, I'm talking about any word that you deal down to talk to the Lord. I, I listen, he'll be there for you. Because the altar is your heart. Amen. The Bible says it teaches me that God will not turn away a praying heart. So if you mean it from your heart, then grasp it. I listen, hold on to it. I listen, I hold on to the plow. I listen. There are people that will grab a hold of the plow. The Bible says they keep looking back. Let's not look back at what the devil's done. Let's look forward to what God can and will do for us. Now listen, because he's promised us eternal life. With him of peace and joy. He's promised us to walk on streets of gold. He's promised us a place to live with the Father where we can be gathered around the throne. You think of this, where God's children can go. And we're going to, the Bible talks about singing a song that the angels themselves are going to have to sit back and listen to us. You think about that. I hope and pray that we said something that would help you. Listen, I, I know I feel good in the spirit. I feel real good. And listen, this program's helped you. We'd like to hear from you, especially if you gave your heart to the Lord. You know what that would do to this preacher? You're talking about putting a little bit of fire in the man, giving me incentive to keep going and keep doing. But you see, I know the word says that it'll not go and return void. It will accomplish what it's sent to do. Remember our prayer list. Send in your prayer request. And we, we thank you for tuning in and watching. God bless you.